Central Texas counties are working constantly to keep up with local COVID-19 cases, but in counties that don't have public health districts, that can be a real struggle. Six News reporter Andrew Moore explains why and what counties can do about it. Andrew. In counties without health districts, any coronavirus cases are reported to the state and the state reports them back to local county officials. But that's critical information and sometimes it can take a while to get there. Main focus is, is that we want to make sure our first responders knows of a hot address location as quick as we can let them know that. When Limestone County Judge Richard Duncan started seeing cases in his county, information was hard to get. Hospitals reported straight to the state and Region 7 would give out only limited information later than the county preferred. We might not be able to tell our first responders a week later uh, if it came from District 7. Duncan said the speed of reporting has improved, but the best improvement they made was to get a public health authority official to work with local hospitals. we will know that that day or the next day. Meanwhile, in Corio County, staff had been waiting on complete reports from Region 7 to update their numbers for several days this week. And when the county had its first coronavirus-related death, officials found out several days later and not through state channels. There's one of my fire chiefs in, in Copper's Cove that uh, found the obituary and, and uh, called me about it. Coriel County Emergency Management Coordinator Bob Harrell says he knows Region 7 is dealing with 28 local counties at the same time, so they have a lot on their plate. But if the county wants to have the latest information as soon as possible, they have to use whatever local resources are available. We have to get the information wherever we can. And 6 News reached out to Region 7 today to find out if that communication process could be streamlined as these cases continue to pop up. We have not heard back, but we'll be posting the response when we get it. In simple, Andrew Moore, 6 News. All right, thanks, Andrew.